a sea of saltars make their way down Edinburgh's Royal Mile, bringing together supporters of independence. In the lead up to the event, organizers said they anticipated the march to be the biggest and boldest demonstration for independence in Scotland's history. Today, they are delighted with the turnout. I'm not a member of SNP, I'm not a member of any political party. I support grassroots organisation. End of the day, that's what it's all about. Getting the people to get up to free your country. The rally planned for the end of the march, just beyond the Scottish Parliament at Hollywood Park, did not have permission, as historic environments Scotland do not allow events of a political nature here. But it went ahead, people showing their support for the cause. The movement is growing. Yeah. And the more the merrier. You it's amazing. Supposedly they said there'd be about 100,000. We're hoping that there is, because it's still coming. We've been voting for Scotland, and we know that Scotland will probably get its independence. A spokesperson for Historic Environment Scotland said it's their priority today to work with their partners, including the police, to facilitate the march safely through the park here, and they will review the situation after the march. Katrina Renton, reporting Scotland.